In today's video, we're going to be talking about amino acids and peptide bond formation. So, the basic structure of an amino acid is in this diagram here. Uh, so amino acids are the second most abundant material in the human body, the first is water. And the key thing that you need to know about amino acids is that they have two functional groups. We have this NH2 group here, or an amine group, and we have this carboxyl group, which is on the right side. This R, which you can see here, stands for a residual group, which basically means there's a certain combination of elements which are attached here, and this gives the amino acid different properties. But we're going to be discussing this in a different video, because it's not involved in the peptide bond formation, so I'll cover that in a separate video. Anyway, so we have this basic structure of an amino acid, and we need to join them together in a peptide bond. That's the name of the bond between amino acids. And we need to join all of these amino acids together in a long row because that's how we get peptides and that's how we get proteins. And proteins are essential for human function. So how do we join these amino acids together? Well, we're going to take the OH group from this carboxyl group from one amino acid. And we're going to take the hydrogen from this amine group on the second amino acid. So these are going to get removed in the form of water because it's an oxygen and a hydrogen and we have an extra hydrogen, so we make H2O. So this is a condensation reaction. So that's really easy to remember because when you think of condensation, you're thinking of water, which is steaming up on a window. So this is a condensation reaction. Water is removed from the equation and we have a peptide bond formation. So once this water is removed, this carbon is free to form a bond, and there's a free space here on the nitrogen to also make a bond. So a bond is formed between the two, so this whole amino acid is attached in this position, and water is removed from the equation. So this connection between this carbon and this nitrogen is now called a peptide bond, and that's how amino acids are able to join together.